Hello, TV fans, movie fans, gaming fans, all fans. <laughs> Welcome to another News of the Week video. We've got a lot of news today that I'm going to cover. We've got TV, movie, gaming, everything you need to know. So tune in to find out what it is. So first starting off is TV news with Welcome to Dairy. The It prequel series has been pushed to 2025. It was supposed to come out Halloween of 2024 which likely due to the strikes is now being pushed to 2025. And this is going to be one of the many delays that we talk about today because due to the strikes, it's terrible. It's, I mean, it's, it, it's horrible. Obviously the strikes are pushing a lot of stuff back. So that's that. That is one of the many delays that we are going to see due to the strikes. Let's uh, keep going with another delay, I guess. Euphoria season three will premiere in 2025. Now, I watched season one and season two, obviously a pretty good show, I'm not going to lie. This season is going to be tough, a tough season. And to be fair, because it has been so long since the first, the second season came out, uh, longer since the first, I think they, I want to say they took a year between season one and two. I think it's been like two years since two and three, and it's likely due to the strikes as well, but we're losing two actors out of the show two main actors as well as i should say um barry ferreira i hope i said that right she said that she was done with euphoria she was dropping out and then we lost angus cloud sadly um he died this year um so that's two big actors that aren't going to be returning for the show um and it kind of makes me think of how they're going to do that with these two actors not returning um, it's going to be interesting. I mean, hopefully they cover a lot of the story in a previously on Euphoria or something before the season, because otherwise, if you don't rewatch the show, you will be really confused because it's been so long. I don't really remember. I don't even know if I remember most of what this happened in the last season. I know a little bit, but not enough. Um, so yeah, so 2025, hopefully fingers crossed if the strikes end soon. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously it's going to be very, very tough losing two of the main story actors. So I guess we'll see what happens. This one is weird. HBO says that they're hoping for The Last of Us Season 2 to start filming in early 2024. Um, I don't know how they can even give a date like that with the strikes still going on. Um, unless they plan on reaching a deal at some point that they're not telling us about. Um, because the strikes are still going on. They cannot start filming without people. Unless they're going to pull, like, a CGI thing, which is going to lose viewership like crazy. Because um, I know Stranger Things said due to the strikes, they've posted a few things of, like, the CGI. They're just cgi and characters in, and that's going to be horrible if they do that. I think they should just wait on that. But if they do something like that with The Last of Us, that's going to... This is a huge fan base. I mean, you you got a lot of gaming fans. You even got new fans coming in and watching the show. I wouldn't recommend going in and doing CGI like Stranger Things. That doesn't work. So like I said, I don't understand how they're going to do this unless they know of a deal that they're going to strike up without telling us. I mean, that's 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 the only thing I could think of is maybe they know that there's a deal coming soon. Um, other than that, I, 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 I've got no idea. <laughs> Um, but that's what they said, early 2024, so I'll keep you posted on, on this. Um, but yeah, I don't see that happening, actually, because there's been plenty of other delays. Plus, I'm pretty sure Pedro Pascal is working on something else as well. He's going to be filming for something else, so we'll see. Now, this show um, is a show I haven't heard much about in a while. <laughs> um, the Penguin Show, announced during the Batman when it came out. Um, is being delayed till fall of 2024. At this point, this show really shouldn't even happen, I would imagine. Um, because there's no point in it. I mean, I mean, I guess it would be a cool show to watch, but now it's being delayed again because of the strikes, fall 2024. I, I just don't see this doing well because of all this, all the delays. Some of this stuff that's coming out, people just don't care about anymore. There's no point in it. This was supposed to go alongside the Batman, come out soon after the Batman, and now we're not hearing anything about it. So it's it's kind of, it's tough. It's going to be tough for a lot of these shows. Euphoria, The Penguin, those are going to do really, really tough numbers because of the strikes, because they've been pushed back so far and, and different stuff that, that they've lost. There's nothing that they can do. 
I just don't see these two shows doing so hot. We'll see. I mean, we'll see. But I really just think they should give up on the Penguin. There's no point. Plus, I mean, I know what they that James Gunn said that it was going to be an Elseworlds thing. That the Batman was still connected through Elseworlds. But I don't see this mattering too much since that's through an Elseworlds thing. So, they could just drop this show and not care not matter so i really i don't unless it's like it it to them it's going to be like an extra thing that we can just have um but other than that i don't really see this doing well so like i said we'll see the strikes are is changing everything so after the strikes we'll i'm sure we'll hear a ton of updates and stuff like that but we'll just have to i'll keep you posted on this too i guess okay i think that is all the delays but this one isn't really good news either um marvel has had have been having talks about bringing the original cast of the Avengers. This would include reviving Iron Man and Black Widow. I'm not okay. I haven't been watching a lot of the shows or some of the new movies recently, um, just because I heard they're terrible. I didn't see Quantum Mania. I haven't seen any of the shows. I haven't seen Miss Marvel, Loki, none of that. I haven't seen any of those. I heard they're I heard they're bad. I heard Loki's good. I do want to check out Loki eventually. I'll get around to it. I've got a lot of other stuff I've been watching, but bringing back the old cast, I, I don't think, I don't think that's good. I think the only way that this would work with how, what they're going in the direction they're going now, um, in the direction they're going now, I think the only way this would work was if it was other versions of the character because they're doing multiverse stuff. So if they bring back Iron Man another version of Iron Man, another version of Captain America, another version of Black Widow. That would work. But they've already set up um, Yelena Belova for Black Widow, I, I thought. So now I'm kind of confused as how this is going to work. Um, so we'll see, I guess. I mean, I don't really know what what that what that entails i mean that that would be the only way that i could see that it works let me know what you guys think but that's the only way i could see that it works is if they use other versions of the character there was a rumor as well and i'm not i'm taking this with a grain of salt right now just because i've heard that it could be happening and that it couldn't be happening that it's not happening at all so what i'm about to say just take with a grain of salt connected to this marvel thing there have been talks about just you know kind of phasing out the kang stuff and going to Doctor Doom because of the stuff that Jonathan Majors is going through and how bad their numbers are for certain movies. Um, I heard the main reason was because Quantum Mania did so bad, and that was like mainly around Kang. Um, so they've been talking about going over to Doctor Doom. Like I said, I heard that this isn't happening at all, and I've heard that this could be still happening. So I don't know exactly where this is going, but take it with a grain of salt for now, unless I update you again. I think this is a terrible idea just going over to another character unless they give that Kang a really good ending it wouldn't make much sense since they've got two Kang Avengers movies set up I, I it just wouldn't make sense they've got like Secret War and then Kang Dynasty they've got two parts of Kang Dynasty I don't think it would make sense for them to do that I mean it wouldn't make sense um, with that being said Doctor Doom would be a good idea for the next villain Doctor Doom could be the next villain of the MCU after Kang, after Kang Dynasty and stuff like that. Doctor Doom could be the next villain and lead into possibly Galactus. That would be a good idea. So maybe setting up Doctor Doom now with the Fantastic Four movie coming, um, that could be a good thing. And then leading into that after Kang Dynasty, that would be cool. Um, and then going into Galactus and stuff like that, that would be cool. I personally don't believe this rumor as well as them going straight to Doctor Doom. It just wouldn't make sense. Um... But there's a lot of Marvel drama. There is a lot of Marvel drama right now. And I'll keep you updated with how that goes. But right now, they're talking bringing in the old school Avengers back. And, and possibly going into Doctor Doom. But like I said, I couldn't see that working. But yeah, that's that's Marvel stuff. So on to DC stuff. We talk Marvel. Let's talk DC. Creature Commandos will consist of seven episodes, 22 minutes apart. Um, I kind of figured that. A lot of people are upset that the, it's short. Um, animated shows are usually 22 minutes, um, so I kind of figured that. Um, but the seven episodes thing kind of got me. I mean, I could have seen it being a little bit longer, but I don't I don't know. Seven episodes, as long as this show is very, very good, I could see the seven episodes thing working. 
Um, but like I said, only if the show is good. And I, and James Gunn is writing it, so I believe in what James Gunn is doing personally with all this DC stuff. So I could definitely see this being a good show. Um, it's just a matter of timing because a lot of people are hating on DC and it's just become the common trend now is that DC is bad, blah, 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 blah. I think where your James Gunn is going is a very, very good direction. Um, so I just think it just depends. I think this show will be very, very good. I could see this show being as good and as good of quality as Invincible and like the boys on Amazon Prime. Because James Gunn, if you think about it, the three things that he's done, four, four five things, because I, I, I think of the three Guardians of the Galaxy movies, The Suicide Squad and Peacemaker, have all been very, very good. They've been great. So I don't see this being bad because Invincible is just as good. Um, I could totally see this doing good numbers. I could see this just being on par with Invincibles because James Gunn does not, in my opinion, does not create bad stuff. He created the Scooby-Doo movies. Those are also great. So I see this being very, very good and I could see this being on the same par as Invincible. So we'll see. I'll be watching it. I love DC. I love DC probably more than Marvel. DC is my baby. I love DC. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. The final thing I want to talk to you about is Poppy's Playtime Chapter 3. I've played both chapters. I believe they're both on this channel, so you guys can go check those out if you want. Chapter 3 is supposed to be coming out next month. So they released a teaser, and we're going to go check this out. let us I'm hype about it. I mean, I love Poppy's Playtime. It's one of my favorite games. Let's dive in and take a look. Play care. Time for bed. The original saved me. I rejoice in him. What the heck was that? I live to serve our angel of salvation. Eee, yikers. <laughs> forget the hours of joy what is that who is that oh god that actually got me chapter three deep sleep looks good looks good winter 2023 next month looks good so I love Poppy Playtime, so that looks insanely terrifying, and if you haven't seen my two chapters of where I played it, go check it out. I love that game, but that looks crazy, and I'll definitely pre-order I think they said we're available now, so you can go pre-order it now. Um, when that comes out, I'll probably end up being playing it, so if you guys are hyped, let me know. Um, check out the, the two Poppy Playtime videos I made. Um, with that being said, that is the news of the week. We got an, uh, also a trailer for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, but I haven't been too keen on those movies, so I didn't re react to those because I'm probably not going to see that movie. There's a good possibility that I still might. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so let me know if I miss any news or if there's any news you want to talk to me about specifically. I'm about to go record my Rick and Morty episode three, I believe it's episode three, review um, on TikTok. I do the quick reviews. Um, and then when the show is completely over, I will come on to YouTube and post a full season review, a full Caesar series review or whatever. Um, with that being said, guys, let me know if I missed anything. Let me know if there's anything specifically you want me to talk about. I will see you in the next news video, movie news, TV news, gaming news, gameplay video, whatever it is. Peace.